Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com and today we're going to talk about the most commonly asked question is how to become a Salesforce developer. So in this video, I will be sharing with you five tips that will help you to become Salesforce developer. So tip number one is once you have decided on the goal, give yourself a couple of months of preparation and have an end date to your goal. It is very, very important to have an end date because that's the date you're going to go for and that's the date when you'll start applying for positions. So give yourself about two, two hours a day on a consistent basis to prepare for your Salesforce development career. So that is the first important thing is have focus and have consistency with an end date on where you wanna, when you wanna start applying for jobs. The second important tip that I have is before you become a Salesforce developer, you should also be familiar with the out of the box features of Salesforce. So what are the things that you can do with, with using the out of the box feature without writing a single piece of code? A good Salesforce developer is also a good admin. So you also have to brush up your knowledge on the administrative part of Salesforce. Things like what are process builders? How do you create one? When do you create a process builder over a flow approval process? Things of that nature. So admin tools you should be very familiar with. That's the second tip. The third tip that I have for you is uh, enroll in my Salesforce developer training for beginner course. So if you are somebody who is completely new to programming, if you have not written a single piece of code or you are a stay at home mom or you want to change your career from a different domain and you want to move over to Salesforce development and if you have no prior pre programming experience, I would recommend you to enroll in my Salesforce developer training for beginners course. And the link for the course has already been shared in the description. So this particular course will take you from a complete newbie, means who has not written a single line of code from that point and it'll take you to more advanced concepts of Apex. And Apex is a programming language which is used by the Salesforce developer. So enroll in the Salesforce developer training for beginner course. That's the tip number three. Tip number four is in order to become a Salesforce developer, you need to have a platform developer one certification. So register yourself for that exam. So how do you prepare for the platform developer one exam? So there are a lot of modules that are available on Trailhead which can help you to become a Salesforce developer. Um, you can use those modules on Trailhead. I personally not a big fan of them. So if you just wanted to, are somebody who likes to learn with the help of videos, then I will also recommend you my second course, which is the Platform Developer One Certification course. In this particular course helps you to kind of gives you a complete overview of the exam. Not even that, it even prepares you for the exam. It is designed based on the curriculum of Salesforce exam pattern. So all the topics are covered and also will take you, guaranteeing you that if you go through that course, you will be able to pass your Platform Developer 1 certification in the first attempt itself. So this is my fifth step for you is go ahead and register for the Platform Developer 1 course and you have to go through that course and also try to implement the examples and the information that I've shared with you in that course. So the links for the course have already been shared in the description, so go check it out. If you are interested to know more about Salesforce, so if you wanted to keep yourself updated with what's going on in Salesforce world, how to the new technologies and the new things that are coming in Salesforce, I will highly recommend you to go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I will be sharing these informational videos on a regular basis with you. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notified when the next video is gonna come. And uh, another thing is if you have not checked my website, it's a complete Salesforce platform. It is basically you can, if you wanna be an admin, if you wanna become a developer, you wanna learn about web components, everything is available related to Salesforce on my platform. Check out my website, mytutorialrack.com and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you next time. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye-bye. Take care.